Hey guys, me host Super Solid. Thank you very much for tuning in. Look what I got. I got a bag of stuff. <laughs> so today I went to my local comic book store and I wanted to share with you the things I picked up. You guys will be excited to know there's a couple of things in here that you guys have said you were looking forward to seeing on the channel, hopefully in October. So some cool stuff in here. And as well, I did also pick up something awesome from Marvel Legends. So the Marvel Legend, oh yeah. It's uh, the uh, Spider-Man um, 60th line right now <coughs> going on, as well as the Into the Spider-Verse or Across the Spider-Verse uh, wave of stuff. And we've got Spider-Noir here with Spider-Ham. Very excited to have these two. I've got the original Spider-Noir still, <coughs> but this one's more in keeping with uh, his appearance from the movies uh, you know, Across the Spider-Verse and stuff. So excited to have him in the collection. He does look pretty cool. Uh, be a nice update on the original one. So... Yeah, happy with that. Just a shame that Spider Ham again is so lackluster. The one from the one that we've got from Disney Store ages ago from the um, Toy Box line is still way better than that one. But hey ho, you can't win them all. But either way, this still looks a really cool figure. Cannot wait to review it. All right, what what did I get to add to the Halloween pile? So as you guys know, in every October, I do my 31 horror toys in 31 days. So that means that every October, I'm required to buy 31 brand new, brand new horror action figures. That's why you don't see horror on this channel predominantly through the year. It's because I tend to save it all up and then, then have it in October. I have 31 days in a row of pure horror and terror. So this year, to go with all the stuff that we've got coming up for horror... I couldn't resist grabbing the brand new Universal Monsters Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Mikey as the Mummy. This wasn't badly priced either. This is really cool. Mikey comes to life. The party dude is out of his tomb. Beware of the cowabunga curse. <laughs> Through ancient dust and pizza crust it looks. <laughs> I like that. Yeah, this is the new Michelangelo version of the Mummy. A very cool looking figure, it's got a spare head, there's a big ass King Cobra with it. And yeah, he's got his nunchucks, his nunchucks are the like shaver with the little cross thing. His nunchucks are like Egyptian signs, which is pretty cool. And you can either have him with a ridiculously big grin or you can have him with sort of like one eye open. Like... And obviously when, when the new Necker uh, sarcophagus arrives, uh, in late October for uh, the mummy. We'll be able to put him in there as well and get some really cool photos. Now here's one that is the universal, the regular Universal Monsters line haven't created yet, but they have given us one for Leonardo, and that is the Hunchback. So maybe a, a NECA version of the Hunchback monster is coming in the future, but right now we have the Leonardo uh, Hunchback. And this is, see what's lurking in the shadows, he has a mind for monsters. Witness the horrifying backstory, the hunchback. Katana-wielding creature feature shell-bent on revenge. <laughs> and there he is, guys. Yeah, he's got loads of accessories that apparently all fit in his uh, shell backpack. So, very interesting. There's tons of accessories in there. Wow. That's going to be really cool. And again, cannot wait to have that in the collection. That is going to be kick-ass. But guys, which is your favourite item of what I picked up today? Let us know in the comments down below. And if you did enjoy my video today, please make sure you hit that like and subscribe button. And subscribing really supports us. It really helps out and helps us to keep making awesome videos like this. Thank you very much for watching, guys. And until next time, may the force be with you. Bye!